It's the beginning of November. The second consignment of horizontal storage tanks for Augustina comes into sight. The convoy is only a few kilometers away from its destination, a brief stopover at a parking area to the west of Munich. This evening, the journey resumes into the city center at Landsberger Strasse. Towards 11 o'clock in the evening, the special transport convoy appears. One tank on each truck, making a total of six. The first three halt on Landsberger Strasse, directly in front of the brewery. Speed is now imperative, because the other three trucks also have to be parked and unloaded. The biggest tanks are up to 28 meters in length, the outer diameter, including insulation, is more than four meters. There are two cranes operating on site. The smaller one is positioned outside the premises on Landsberger Strasse. It copes effortlessly with a load of 140 tons and transfers the tank to the second crane, which can handle a very impressive 500 tons. This second crane, by the way, is positioned inside the brewery premises and is 85 meters high. The tank swoops over the historic brick facade and finally achieves a gentle landing in the brewery's inner courtyard. A mere 20 minutes have elapsed since unloading, including the handling work performed by the two cranes. In the courtyard, each tank is cleaned before it's ingressed into the new storage cellar. Now it's time to install the horizontal tanks, and that's not going to be easy. To give you a brief comparison, vertical tanks are relatively easy to install, resting on feet. This is not the case with horizontal tanks, which is why appropriate preparations have to be made. There are steel straps hung between the masts, and each individual tank has to be placed on these with total accuracy, one tank after another, from bottom to top. Well nigh military precision and accelerated heartbeats. Fortunately, everything goes smoothly this time as well. After each of the tanks has been inserted, by the way, the steel construction is modified and made ready to accept the next tank being ingressed. It takes a good eight hours to ingress the six storage tanks and dawn is fast approaching. Now you can get a better view from above and see how Augustina's venerable brewery, whose brick facade enjoys listed building status, is embedded in the center of Munich and is a quintessential exemplar of the city's culture. This is why quite a bit of sensitivity was needed for the storage cellar expansion so as to match it to the style of the existing structures. And for these reasons, once it's finished, the steel construction will be concealed inside a new brick building. When everything goes according to plan, then Augustina will be starting operation with its new storage cellar early in 2015, in good time for the beginning of the season. Because once again, it'll be Summer in the city.